Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. Once again, we're in the studio, and this time we're going to talk about something kind of important. Right now, money is tighter than ever. I want a good deal. I don't want to get ripped off on lures. So we're going to talk about discount stores that sell lures for more than they should be. I'm talking about more than retail, more than they have in the past. Let's just get into it. The first lures we're going to talk about are Zoom lures. Can you believe they're selling Zoom trick worms at Ollie's for $3.99? They're actually claiming the other guys charge $5.99 for those. Let's look it up at Walmart and see what they actually cost. Walmart Zoom trick worms. So, here they are at Walmart. Three dollars and fifty-eight cents. That's actually less than they're charging at Ollie's, the discount store. Right? They buy closeouts. They buy old stuff that's been discontinued, overstocks, and this kind of stuff. But in this case, they're selling it for more than the retail price on the shelf at Walmart. Can you believe that? Well, it's true. They also had Zoom Flukes over there. Flukes for the same price, $3.99. And they're saying the other guys actually charge $5.99 for Flukes? Let's look that one up. Walmart Super Salty Plus Zoom Flukes. So here we have it. Zoom Salty Super Flukes, $2.87. Two eighty-seven, dollars and they're trying to sell them for $3.99. I'm not sure who's doing the pricing over there. Maybe they just have a bad purchasing team over there, and they're buying closeouts for more than they should. Or maybe they have a bad R&D guy over there in the pricing department. But it's a bad look. When you're selling closeout or discontinued lures, for more than the retail value on the shelf. I'm Tammy from Texas and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. I'm not gonna buy them. I'm urging you not to buy them. Go to Walmart and pay a dollar and a quarter less brand new. These lures over at Ollie's they could have been sitting in a bin in a back room for a year or two. They're closeouts. They're overstocks. They've been sitting there for a long time before they finally make it to the shelf at Ollie's. I'm pretty sure about that. Anyway, two eighty-seven at Walmart. Go to Walmart and pick them up. Save a couple bucks because right now I know the money is tight. Oh yeah, and check this out. Here we have some Zoom products from Ollie's from last year, right? Zoom products for $1.99. Here's another Zoom product, $2.99. That's still cheaper than this season's $3.99. And this is the Jumbo Pack 25 count. That's twice as many lures for less money twice as many, right? This is 25. I think those are 10 packs. Can you believe that? This one's still a dollar less. And here I have some trick worms from Academy, right? They were on sale. 98 cents. This is more like it. If you're claiming to be a discount and closeout store, selling overstocks and whatnot for real cheap, 98 cents from a retail store for the exact same thing. You're charging four times that much for your discount lures. 98 cents from Academy. Come on, guys. The next one we're going to look at are Havoc. Remember Berkeley Havoc? It was discontinued like two or three years ago, and they're selling it over there for $3.99. I don't even think they sell Havoc at retail anymore, but we're going to find out. 
Havoc Pit Boss. So I am seeing some here by resellers at Walmart for $3.99. But this isn't Walmart the store, right? You can't go into a Walmart and buy Havoc right now. I don't know if you can go into any stores and buy Havoc right now because they haven't been making them for a couple years. Discontinued baits like Havoc are not going to go up in value when they stop making them. Sure, there might be a couple people out there, right? Like, Havoc is their favorite lure, and they'll pay a little more if they find it. But $4 a pack? I don't think they ever cost $4 a pack. I remember seeing them new on the shelf at Dick's Sporting Goods, and even at Walmart. They were like $2.89 maybe, maybe $2.99. It wasn't really the top tier of lures. It was even below Berkeley Power Bait. I have a few examples here from Ollie's and from other stores showing that their current price is ridiculous. Hey fans, this is the headliner Chris Michaels and you are watching Realistic Fishing, so I'd advise you to keep it realistic. So check out these Havoc baits. These Havoc change-ups came from Ollie's last season, $1.99. Now all of a sudden they want to charge twice that? I guess that's cool. Here's some Devil Spears. Pretty much the same thing as a Pit Boss right here. $1.99. How come you're charging $3.99 now? And here, the closeout at Walmart right when they were just trying to get rid of them 2018 at Walmart I paid a dollar one dollar for the Berkeley pit boss that just goes to show that when the lures are on their way out the door they get cheaper not more expensive Ollie's is doubling their own price from last year on baits that are no longer available and they're not special collectors baits either Everyone gave up on Havoc for the new Powerbait Max scent and the Powerbait series. I still appreciate them, but I'm not going to pay four bucks. That's just ridiculous. And here's just a couple more we're going to look at. I think these prices are insane. These Gander Mountain Flukes, they're trying to charge $5.99 for house brand flukes. They're even claiming that other people sell them for $11.99. This just seems unbelievable. I'm pretty sure Gander Mountain went out of business. And if they haven't gone totally out of business, they closed all their stores around here. Let's look them up and see if we can find any Gander Mountain flukes. Here are some people selling them on Mercari. There's some people selling them on eBay. I'm looking for a reputable seller. I'm just not finding it. But I can guarantee this. Gander Mountain was not selling 10 packs of flukes for $11.99. Yeah, here's someone on Mercari selling uh, 6 packs of them for 25 bucks. They're just not made anymore and no one is selling them. But that doesn't mean they're worth $11.99 or even $5.99. Like I said, if that's your favorite lure... Maybe, right? If it's discontinued and you can't find it anywhere else and you really love Gander Mountain brand fluke style baits, sure, pick it up. But just because they say the other guy sells them for $11.99, don't believe it. I would bet that even when Gander Mountain was in business, they were selling their flukes for less than Ollie's is selling it right now. This is Jersey Joel from Jersey Joel Fishing. You're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. It really is a shame that this is happening because I like going to Ollie's. I like going to discount stores and looking for good deals on lures. I'll buy a bunch up, I'll try some out, and I'll give them away to you. But I'm not going to let myself get ripped off when the prices are too high, and I know it. I've been buying and giving away fishing lures on YouTube for the last five years. I got a lot of experience as a buyer and a purchasing agent, 
and I can tell you, for sure, something is wrong here. Ollies, you really should figure this out if you want to start selling more fishing lures. Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.